All right, guys, we're back. Today's video is going to be an exciting one. It's going to be what is easier to do a wheelie on, four stroke or two stroke? The 140G against the RM85. And Nathan is going to be the person doing the wheelies today. So, you are too. Yeah, I could try. I could try to do some. But I think the RM85. I've tried to do a wheelie on the RM85, and it, you got to get it kind of in the power band, but it bogs out because it has so much weight on it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it on that one. I'll try. Nathan. Yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think is going to do a better wheelie? Yeah, no, this one. That one? The four-stroke? It's easier. Like, it's easier. You have to do it, 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 and plus, it you feel secure or it's secure. More secure on it. And like when you pop a, when you pop the clutch, it just goes up. And that's right. Good control. The uh, the four strokes have good torque on them. The two stroke you have to get him more high RPM to get get into the power band. So that's why I hate that one for popping rollers because then you have to like go. That's what it does. Then you have to like go like. Yeah, the torque starts out low to mid range on the on the four strokes, and then this is high range or mid to high range on the arm or the two strokes i think i think the four strokes going to be better so i guess let's get to it guys what do you want to crank up first this one i'm going to crank that one up our little test strip is just going to be from there all the way to over there and we'll do a few different runs we'll do like 10 times we'll do it like 10 times each and see which one's easier and then when you're done we'll stop park them and we'll talk about which one's easier to do a willy with and why so i know which one's easier to start this one has a electric start on it just so easy look at that look at that guys down put it in first gear this is a five speed so it's one down four up All right, here we go. Nice. Nice. That was good. Yeah. You can do a wheelie from down there too if you want. Come on, get it up higher than that. You gotta get it up higher than that. Rev it out a little bit higher. See what you got. Come on, come on. You can do better than that. Now come around and do it from that side. Okay, stop it. Come on. Rev it out higher. Get it up high. That was worse than the first time. Come on, Nathan. This bike is big. Don't hold your front brake. Come on, rev it out high and pop that clutch. I can't. This bike is too big. That was a little bit better. Come on, buddy. You gotta, you gotta rev it out higher and pop the clutch fast. There you go. Don't let off the gas. You had it. You gotta walk it. Come on. Okay. Yeah. You can leave your feet on the pegs if you want to. Try to sit a little bit further back on the seat. Get the weight on the back of the bike. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, rev it out. Get it high this time and walk it. There you go. There you go. Good job. All right. That was good. That was better. Get it up higher, though. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Walk that, walk that steel horse. There you go. Oh, you had it. You should have kept. Yeah, 
Man, you should have let off the gas on that one. That was a good one right there. It felt like I was going to fall back. Hey, doggies. Hey. All right, three more times with that, and then we'll do the RM. There you go. That was better. That was better. Come on, pop it up. You're not revving it out high enough. You gotta get the RPMs up. There you go. I'll tell you when to pop the clutch. Okay, rev it up. Stop, there you go. Now rev it up, rev it up. Just like that. Rev it, rev it, rev it, rev it. A little higher. Go. Ah, a little bit higher than that even. All right, one more time. Rev it out real high. Come on. There you go. All right, park it right there in front of the RM real quick. What? I keep, I keep on hitting my... Your testicles. <laughs> Oh man! No, I said park it over there, buddy. So it's out of the way. Thank That's you. what happens when you wear skinny jeans, man. Skinny jeans on. And you what? Nothing. Just park it over there on the fence, and then get the RM. All right, good job. All right, so that was the KLX 140. Turn the power off, buddy. There you go, you killed the battery. Yeah, the big wheels might make it harder for the 140G to do wheelies. Um, I don't know if just regular 140 could actually do better. I think it probably could though. So, okay, we're gonna get on the like, RM. You know how good I used to be popping wheelies on the 110? Like, yeah, yeah, killing. but I mean, you could get good on that too. That's out of this So, did you like the uh, 140? Oh, by the way, guys, um, the reason why Addison's not in this video is because he left. We were going to do it with Addison doing the wheelie on the 140 and then Nathan doing the wheelie on the 85 or just swapping them both out. But Addison spent the night at his friend's house. So, sorry, he's not in the video this time. So, we're just going to use Nathan and myself. If you want, when Nathan's done doing both of these bikes, I'll get my helmet on and we'll see if I can do some wheelies on them. So, Dad, this feels like it's the handlebars are bent? Like downwards? Downwards? Yeah. I think that we're gonna you're just getting big, buddy. We're gonna have to I'm gonna get you handlebar risers and I'm gonna get the uh the big it's wheel okay. kit. It's like a hundred dollars. It's okay. Maybe some big, bigger shocks. So Yeah, these shocks hurt my butt when I jump. Yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to sit down when you jump, but they'll still hurt my legs. Yeah, well you stand up. Stand up when you're jumping. All right, so crank it up. We're going to test the RM85 out now and see how it is at doing doing backyard wheelies. Just leave it in first gear. I'll tell you what, that thing has some power, man. That thing has some power compared to the other one. Why? Because it like, feels like the bike is bending down. Bending down? Like, weird. Oh, because you got used to the 140? All right, here he goes. Rev it out high, rev it out high. You got to get it in the power band. You got to get it in the power band. That's not high enough. You're gonna have to rev it out high. It's, it has to be real loud, eh, like that. If not, it will stall out every time. Higher, higher, higher. 
Holy crap. This thing just doesn't want to come off the ground. All right, here he goes. He's gonna have to rev it out real high. You're gonna have to pop that clutch and keep it held down. Don't let the gas off. You're going to have to pop the clutch. My God. I'm revving it really hard. I don't think you can do it on grass. It's not going to work. I don't know. Try to do it on the concrete over there. Up the hill. Oh. All right. We're going to get off the grass and try to do it on the concrete. So he doesn't get any slip. It's just this thing has so much power to it. Off the grass and do it on the asphalt over here up the hill. That thing just did not want to come off the ground at all, just kicking up, kicking up grass and dirt. All right, here he goes. Let's see what he got. Come on, man! You're you're not you're not doing it right. Come on, just don't be scared. That thing just has to be in a high RPM to have any kind of power at all. Without without that with that four stroke. It basically just has torque from the get-go, from the low end. This thing only has any kind of torque from the top end. So it's hard to really keep it in that sweet spot to keep a wheelie going. Just so try one more time, man. Come on. All right, last chance. You go. You see how he got it up, and then it was like it started bogging down. But he let off the gas. Try to stay steady on the gas. Higher. There you go. There you go. There you go. It just takes a lot more practice to get the sweet spot, I think, for this RM. I got a better idea. What? That's another thing. That's another thing. This thing has so much horsepower that it just that tire just wants to move. So if you don't have a solid spot to plant. Hey, let me just tell you something. So keep it steady, get it revved up at the bottom right there where that dry spot is right there. Get it revved up and don't let off the gas so fast. Rev it up high, once you walk it, keep it steady on the gas. Come on, come on. There you go. Try it again. All right, come on, do it good. Rev it out high, rev it out high. Rev it out high. There you go. That was
was better. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. That was better. So you can't get it up there. You just have to you have to really feather that gas. And if you let off, if you let off and let the RPMs get too low, it just bogs down. See how he let off the gas? He let off the gas because he was getting too thought he was getting too high. That's where that's where the finesse kicks in and you gotta kinda feather it. Alright, for real, this is the last time. Last one, come on, walk it out, walk it out. Alright. Alright, go ahead and park it, Nathan. Park it on the fence. Do a uh, do a, a burnout right here. Full speed burnout through there. Nice. I think we got a winner, guys. I think that you can do a wheelie on the two-stroke. It takes a lot more finesse and practice. The four-stroke, the four-stroke is just way easier. It just has so much torque on the low end. Which one's easier to do wheelie on, four-stroke or two-stroke? This one. Four-stroke or two-stroke? This one. Because then that one you have to go and then it pops away. You gotta get the RPMs one, up have, real high. This one you have to go. Uh, All right. Film me real quick. See if I could do a wheelie on this real quick. That was pretty good. I mean, I'm not the best at popping wheelies, but who cares? You gotta practice before you do something. Perfect. That one that you just did. Anyways, guys, I'm not an expert, but this is definitely easier than doing it with the uh, RM85. I'm going to try to show you. I'm going to try to do a wheelie. So I'm going to try to get it. It's so you gotta get it at such high RPMs. Power. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This doesn't have enough power. Once once you let off a little bit of that gas, it loses it and then it just bogs out, especially with my weight. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to the four stroke. Way easier if you're lighter with this, um, with the two stroke. On dirt. It's, on dirt? Yeah, it's easier. I would on say dirt. on dirt. Yeah, it's easier. This is easier on dirt? You couldn't yeah. even get a wheelie on dirt with this. Yeah, good. Oh, well, on, 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 on hard concrete, but that's actually pretty dangerous if you actually fall back. So. Yeah. So there you have it. That's a quick video. Our vote is four stroke. 
If you guys have any other comments um, on this, just leave it in the comment section. Yeah. We really would appreciate it. And we'll just look at the comments. Yeah. And, um, Please leave us a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more videos. Let us know what you guys want to see. I would re recommend that bike if you're like a starter. Yeah, definitely. But if you're like small, then I want to get that because it's pretty big. Yeah, well, you can get a 110 to start out with. Yeah, that, I like that. 110, bike. Kawasaki 110, KLX 110 is a good bike. But honestly, I'm thinking about getting the CR, CRF 150 for the next bike. CRF 150 four stroke and um, just seeing how that thing is. So I'm looking at him right now. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.